Hello everybody, my name is Dark Heart, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Dead Island 2. It's only been a bit, only a year late and uh, mm, a few months after it released on Steam. Yeah, I know I'm late to the party, but I I, I was having fun playing a game. Sue me. And yeah, this is going to be my first game review and uh, first in a series of reviews I'm going to well start doing on the channel. Mm, yeah. So if you're here for my more meme type content, sorry to annoy you with my new shit, but uh, yeah, hey, let's get into it. Dead Island 2 is a game I've been waiting for for a good long time. Ever since I played Dead Island 1, I've been waiting for the next game to come out. Of course, as you all know, the rocky history with the game with a, a certain uh publisher slash developer i don't I, I can't remember which one making some uh, complications for developers yeah, but we finally have it so let's talk about the things i love about this damn game one of the aspects i love about dead island 2 well let's start with the basic one the characters the characters of dead island 2 are so good from curtis sinclair someone up there must really like me if they sent you to save me huh <laughs> not sure what i did to deserve it though <laughs> to Andrea Salazar, if I'm pronouncing that right, don't hate me, people. Sorry, sorry. You will turn. Eat us, I know. I've seen it now. Get away! The Ricky Ricks, the Ru Ricky Rex, Ricky Rex, Rexy Rex, Rex. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm not good with names. Ricky Rex. Uh, I'm no Is zombie. There a pizza? Hey, do you have pizza? If I do, you'll let me in. Uh, yeah, well, if I open this door, a whole load of zombies might rush in, and I'm pretty sure that's a, a bad thing. Down to Sarah Shepard, 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 prepare. As you get to know me, people, you'll realize I'm not good with names. Either way, all these characters are bloody fantastic. They're a joy to be around. Their dialogue is very nice. I love the character development that they get as time goes on through the story. Some of it, mm, some of it's a bit here or there, depending on the character, but it's nice, sweet, and to the point. I'm not going to hate on it, especially for a game that took as long as Dead Island 2 took. I'll, I'll give them, I'll give them a good praise for it. They're lovable little shits. These characters keep just making me want to explore the world and see more of it. Each of these characters are fun, fantastic, bamboyant, and it's good. They're California, baby. And talking about characters that I love, let's talk about my favorite character of Dead Island 2. The character I played, the main man, the lead protagonist himself. Don't say he's not. He's in the blam. He's in the blam, 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 blam tr damn trailer. <laughs> oh, you gotta love him, Jacob. Throughout my playthrough, I played as Jacob. He's a great, fun guy, and I've enjoyed his interactions, his quirkiness, his mellow attitude to everything, his reactions. He's a fun character, and I love him. And in my opinion, he is the definitive main character, protagonist of Dead Island 2. No one can say he's not. I don't care what your opinion. Bite me. He is. Moving on. Moving on, and let's move on to something else that needs to be talked about. That's kind of a weak point about Dead Island 2. I'll admit it. I'm not going to lie about it. It's the weapons, the fighting. It's a little subpar. It's a little dated, I won't lie. Is it bad? No, don't get me wrong. It's not bad. It's great. It's very, very good. No, not, well, not very good. It's, it's, it, it works. It's a fun, easy smack shit in the face. And that's not a bad thing. It's a little dated, yeah, but hey, it's smacking zombies in the face. One thing I'm glad they upgraded in Dead Island 2, though, when it comes to the weapons is, well, the guns. They allow us to finally add elemental effects from fire shotguns to ex corrosive sniper rifles and so on. And I, and I enjoy them very much. Though I do hate the fact that they locked a lot of them behind legendaries. They locked the legendaries around, like, just literally, like, eight legendaries or so throughout the game. It's a bit annoying, especially when they have their effects locked in and I can't customize the legendaries. I don't like half the... If you get, if you yeah. haven't got it, I don't like half the legendary weapons, particularly the shotgun pistol. It kind of sucks. But that's just me, either way. Moving on from weapons, let's go on to something that goes into weapons, and that is the zombie gore system that they added to Dead Island 2. Or the mutilation system. I don't remember the name of it, whatever it is. But whatever it does, it makes slashing, smashing, and blowing off zombie limbs so much more fun than what it used to be. Basically, every part of the body has its own individual tear point. So what happens is when you shoot this, you shoot that, tear that, it basically makes the flesh rip off the bone in the most satisfying, wonderful way. Why is my phone going off? Suck, shut up, I'm recording. And it, um, it, and it makes it look fucking fantastic. It makes it so satisfying when doing fights with monsters and such. I would show it off to you all, but YouTube is kind of, um, kind of is stepping down on gore lately. So unfortunately I'm not able to give you a good montage as I would love to do for you. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no zombie killing montage. Oh, 
but yeah the enemy variety is pretty good though i will admit it's just a re remix of the classic zombies from one with some visual upgrades and such like that better movement better visuals you know how it is when a game comes out 10 years later it looks good and they run good too no performance issues on my end and again i am a year late so for all i know there could have been some but hey the only issue i have with the zombies is well the the final new variant that they introduced i, I kind of don't care for him he kind of sucks but eh what are you gonna do speaking of things that suck let's talk about the progression system or the card system i do not care for the card system at all i do not think it's good i think it's tedious and just downright stupid mainly because it, i wish they just give us the old-fashioned skill tree progression like they did in dead island one because it defined the characters more with the card system there's a lot of cards that are overlapped and shared between characters certain skills and such and i think that takes the value away from what the characters are meant to be who they are let's talk about the weakest part about dead island 2 here and that is the story the story of dead island 2 is not the best well it's not the best at the end the beginning of the story is actually pretty good simple straightforward save your friends get out of zombie la you're immune zombie survival goodness and it's nice but then we get towards the end, the mid part, and well, the story kind of gets muddied with cliffhanger nonsense, trying to make a compelling story. You know how it is with writers nowadays. They can't just simply let it be the save the hero type shite. Oh, I miss when stories were just simple. But that's something for you all to see for yourselves if you want to enjoy this beautiful game, which I do highly recommend. With that being said, let's talk about the best part about Dead Island 2. The greatest thing about it, and that is the open world of Dead Island 2. Or the world. I, I, I consider it open world. Is it a, are they master open world? No. But it's a nice, simplistic open world, in my opinion. Some people say it's not. I say it's just open world. Bite me. Meh. Fuck you if you don't think it is. But I think it is. And I like it. From Bel Air to Venice Beach, all the way down to Beverly Hills. It's a fun world to explore and go through. It's detailed. It's looks beautiful and it's a well done world it's a world you want to explore and that's also another weak point i want to talk about and that is the fact that we don't get enough side quests that make me go through the world i wanted more side quests that would take me throughout the entirety of the world but i we only got what well, we got it and that's what i'm sad about it mostly with the world of dead island too it's the fact that we didn't get enough side quests that make us explore it more and before you say well you can explore it yourself yes i did that was fun but there's just something about having a story to it you know that gives you that <laughs> and no, the lost people side mission stuff doesn't hit the same as an actual side mission that has dialogue and character interactions. It's not the same, all right? Shut up. But yeah, everybody, that's my review of Dead Island 2. Short, sweet, to the point. I don't know if I covered my points well, but hey, I, I, I tried my best. And well, yeah, this is yeah, my review. I'm going to try to be doing more stuff like this in the future. I, I really want to. I want to try to give my opinions on stuff and see how people think about it and try to entertain you the best I can. So yeah, thank you all for watching and uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notifications and like the video. And uh, yeah, stick around for the next one. Bye.